am going to give uh, home state advantage of Colorado uh, to Harold to kick us off here. Tell us a little bit about your business and how recent conditions out of Washington have been affecting it. Well, Buffalo Supply is a family business. We're 30 years old. Uh, we're a distributor of high-tech medical equipment. And uh, it's always a struggle to keep the regulations uh, coming out. You know, it's our goal to always uh, comply with every law, rule, and regulation, but it's a full-time job trying to keep up with them. Interesting, because one of the things I read in your notes was that um, the medical device tax provision of Obamacare, which has actually been voted 79-0 to be repealed by the United States Senate, which is an amazing bipartisan achievement, especially in today's Washington, how is that affecting your business in particular? Well, it doesn't directly impact me because I'm a distributor. I don't, I don't have to pay the tax. It indirectly affects me because my suppliers have to raise their prices to cover the tax. And in some cases, we get put in a short squeeze where we have contracts with our customers that take time to change. Uh, and escalating prices uh, negative, negatively impact us. Okay, let me now go to Mike, because you're there in Washington, D.C., which is also a place where I spent a lot of time, so half home state advantage goes to you. You actually think your business is doing fairly well, right? You are intending to be able to grow this year. Yeah, that's correct. Um, you know, the, the worst part of the uh, uh, recession seemed for us to kind of uh, petered out in the middle of 2011, and so from the, first half, the second half of 2011 to the... Uh, Near the end of 2012, we were really going back to gangbusters. In fact, that was one of the best. A whole bunch of new businesses and individuals coming online as potential customers, and nearly quadruple the uh, potential, you know, co competition amongst insurers. Uh, I might be in pretty good shape. Interesting, because Maryland was one of the first to actually uh, adopt an exchange, but other states have not had the same kind of experience, and certainly people have it. Matthew, one of the things you noted was that your premiums for your health care insurance have gone up an incredible 96%. How are you dealing with that as a small business owner? It's very difficult. I mean, it's it's one of the things that we're also dealing with is the fact that a lot of medium-sized businesses that would normally hire my company are holding on to a lot of their cash. So they're not going out and they're not spending the money that we need in order to stimulate our economy so that I can provide more jobs to people. So what do you think, Matthew, if, um, that Washington, D.C., if anything, would it be good for them to actually do something, or do you just wish to not be holding back the funds for uh, a military government that's looking to have stability and peace? So when you, as you were mentioning, so behind the scenes, the Obama administration, uh, State Department, and others, by CIA, we're urging the generals uh, that are in charge now of the government in Egypt to you, to exercise caution, to not erupt, but that didn't happen. And now you have over 635 people that have been killed by their own government. I mean, how do you then yeah. work that back if they wouldn't even listen to us before the violence? Well, certainly we have to be very clear that the, any violence uh, is absolutely wrong and that we condemn it and that we don't want to be put into the situation where we're somehow glossing over what the military government is doing right now. We want to stand firm against that. But you're right to, to suggest we don't have a lot of influence. I would suggest that if the Obama administration would have pulled back some of the funding when we had an Islamist government with Morsi in charge, that we would have had a little more credibility now to kind of say, hey, listen to us. But clearly our influence is waning, but we need to maintain a seat at the table as, as small of that seat it is right now. Uh, Egypt is, is very important for the United States. It is our bridge into that region, and it's a great ally of the United States. So we need to remember that we need to keep them close and do everything we can to try to have as much influence as possible. Politically, I wanted to ask you about the criticism of the Obama administration's response from the left. Uh, I'll just read you four things I wrote down. I, wrote, I read incoherent, uh, not tough enough, that they were complicit in the violence, and that they had alienated every faction in Egypt. And that's coming from people who traditionally would support President Obama. I would add to that, uh, they are too late. All of those criticisms are right, 
But they could have been saying that, you know, years ago. I mean, just look at the Syria policy. We sent back our ambassador into chaos, into Damascus. We pulled him from Washington. Then we sent him back to Damascus again. We really had an incoherent policy throughout all of the Middle East. And let's remember that the Obama administration has only been able to produce one resolution on Iran at the UN. So we haven't had a lot of influence from this administration. I think the Obama team has just decided that they would rather be popular than try to really push through a lot of these difficult issues. But again, I do want to go back to what President Obama said this week in Martha's Vineyard, I thought was very good because he didn't take the bait on immediately siding with the Islamist government, uh, government like he had done before. I agree. All right, Vic, thank you so much. Anytime. Straight ahead, it is not the Wienermobile you're used to seeing. And you may want to keep your kids away from this one. That's nice. I've been around long enough to recognize the people who are out there only the ones getting involved, staying engaged. They're not afraid to question the path they're on. Because the one question they never want to ask is, how did I end up here? I started Schwab with those people. People who want to take ownership of their investments, like they do in every other aspect of their lives. When you realize you need to switch to Verizon, it's a reality check. I had my reality check when I'd be sitting there with my friends who had their Verizon phones, and I'd be sitting there like, I'm still loading. I couldn't get email. I'm going to shoot movies. Couldn't upload any of our music. That's when I decided to switch. Now that I'm on Verizon, everything looks fast. We have Verizon. I have that reliability. I'm completely happy with Verizon. Verizon's 4G LTE is the most reliable and in more places than any other 4G network. Period. That's powerful. Verizon. Get the Nokia Lumia 928 for free. 1043, not sunny day, some people. You and Ms. Howe are defending the accused terrorists. At the highest level of government. There are parts of play that neither you nor I may even hope to control. There is a secret. The bomb is working for MI5. British intelligence brought him in as a double agent, and that's where it all went wrong. Someone would do anything to protect. Were they watched? From the producers of Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. What the hell have you got this infected? Closed circuit, ready to earn. A million Muslim march on September 11th. What point is the group trying to make? Church Guinea gets answers. Plus, don't miss a minute of an all-new Morocco Saturday. Uverse makes it easy to manage your account and get support whenever and wherever you want it. Manage, upgrade, or learn more about Uverse products and services right from your TV screen. Just pick up your remote and go to Account Manager on channel 9910. You can also manage on the go at myatt.com or with the myatt app. And for other helpful services, call a friendly rep at 800-ATT-2020. At home or on the go, you first makes it easy. I love my pets, and I would do anything for them. But that doesn't mean I have to overpay for their medications. That's why I always order from 1-800-PET-PETS. They carry the products that protect my pets. Please, ticks, and heartworms for less. I get the same exact brand name bed as the bed, and shipping is fast and free. Plus, they add a special treat for my pets. I get everything I need in 1-800-PET-MEDS. Call 1-800-PET-MEDS or visit 1-800-PET-MEDS.com for diarrhea. You take care of pectin, but for heartburn, gas, ingestion, excess, stomach, or nausea, you also take care of pectin. New care of pectin countless by the American Relief Dial and soothe your stomach relief with all the symptoms. Care of pectin, one and done. Oh, shit. I wake up cool. This keeps going. New Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray. Now get all the cooling, drying power of Gold Bond Powder in a refreshing No Mess Spray. New Gold Bond Powder Spray. Stay cool with Gold Bond. We finally made our first move. With Uverse, we were able to pack up our DVR and keep all our recorded shows because we moved locally. We earned a $300 reward card for transferring your service to our new home. We also added a wireless receiver so we can set up the room the way we want, no matter where the TV outlet is. You first made moving easy, so we're already feeling right at home. Okay, everyone, it is time to cash it out. The band Kiss getting ready to rock Los Angeles on the football field. Yahoo reporting that the rock band Behemoth Kiss buys pro football team promises a concert-like atmosphere. <laughs> That's right, the Rockers are partnering with the Arena Football League, a team that will be 
called what else? LA Kiss. Can't wait to see what their halftime shows look like. And Battle Now candidate Anthony Weider, he just keeps on rolling, literally this time. The Daily Dot tweeting, Carlos Danger, hot dog stand, gives you a free frame for tweeting at Anthony Weiner. Yes, this Weiner Mobile is roaming the streets of New York City. The truck is not affiliated with any political campaign. You can send your message straight from the truck. Just be careful what you tweet. Now, this sounds like a strange combination. The Daily Mail reporting that Frito Lay introduces Pepsi flavored Cheetos. Gross, the soda snack hybrid has already hit the shelves in Japan. But you're going to have to find another way to satisfy your desire for crunchy caffeine. A Frito-Lay spokesperson says the snacks will not be sold in the U.S. To talk about thrifty, the Huffington Post tweeting, Look, $15 necklace found at flea market turns out to be famous $300,000 artwork. Wow. Turns out the necklace was designed by renowned sculptor Alexander Calder. The flea market find is heading to the auction block and is expected to sell for between two and three hundred thousand dollars. What a bargain. And we bet you have not seen a Chinese knockoff like this before. Dave reporting that a Chinese zoo disguised a dog as a lion. People noticed, that's right, they tried to pass this off, this Tibetan mastiff, as a lion. Now they might have gotten away with it except for one hitch. Their so called lion started barking. And use hashtag Reddit. Ask it out with us. You can follow me at Dana Perino. Coming up, the San Diego sex scandal. Why does the city's embattled mayor now have its own hotline? Find out next. I'm Beth. And I'm Michelle. And we own the Paper Cottage. It's a stationary gift store. Anything we purchase for the Paper Cottage goes on our ink card. So you can manage your business expenses and access them online instantly with the game changing app from Ink. We didn't get into business to spend time managing receipts. That's why we need ink. We like being in business because we like being creative. We like interacting with people. <laughs> so you have time to focus on the things you love. Ink from Chase. So you can. Kind of. Kind of. What kind of?
The Duck Dynasty characters are genuinely funny, but it's not always the obvious slapstick stuff. The dialogue can be really ironic, too. The Robertson family comes across as unrehearsed, no nonsense, and warm. Yet there's another explanation for this mega hit. The show's focus on family, country, and faith. Each episode, in fact, ends with a prayer. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this night, and we thank you for the blessing of being in this place. Thank you for Mom and Dad and their commitment to one another and all these years they've served you. Father, we pray continued blessings on our family. Amen. Amen. And this isn't one big put-on for the cameras. This is their way of life. In fact, the family patriarch, Phil Robertson, was a preacher for decades before the TV show, and he openly discusses Jesus, the Lord, God, in media interviews. How often today do we see families in prayer on entertainment television? As families have disintegrated in America, as our culture has become hypersexualized, as kids are losing their innocence at younger and younger ages, I think it's undoubtedly a welcome relief to many TV viewers to just watch a program that doesn't offend their core values. Duck Dynasty depicts a colorful, intact, dare I say traditional family and they're leading a happy and really successful life. What a concept! Wake up, Hollywood! There is a huge audience out there that is turning off and tuning out the garbage that passes as entertainment today. Sex might sell, but real love, love of family, neighbor, country, and yes, God, that sells too. And in the end, it's a lot more fulfilling. And that's the memo. And now on to our top story, Oprah Winfrey has now injected herself into the race controversy surrounding the George Zimmerman verdict, saying this. Emmett Till became a symbol for those times, as Trayvon Martin has become a symbol for this time. A lot of people, if they think they're not using the N-word themselves, they actually think physically are not using the N-word themselves, and do not have a uh, harbor ill will towards black people, that it's not racist. But you know, to me, it's ridiculous to look at that case and to not, not to think that race was involved. Joining us now to react from Los Angeles, DLA professor Mark Sawyer, and here in the studio, Horace Cooper. He's a senior fellow at the Heartland Institute, a conservative organization. All right, gentlemen, this is, uh, this is pretty interesting. I'm going to start with you, Professor Sawyer, because Oprah Winfrey, obviously one of the most recognizable, most successful women in the world, not just in the United States, right? She's a billionaire. Uh, she came from a very difficult uh, upbringing. She's crazy. What's crazier is that I didn't do it sooner because all I had to do was walk. This is the Bowflex Tread Climber Machine that combines the motions of a treadmill, stepper, and elliptical into one walking workout to burn up to three and a half times the calories of a treadmill. It's just so easy. I burned 500 calories in 30 minutes. I was like, God, what is this machine doing? <laughs> 40 pounds in just four months. I feel better than I did in my 20s. Call or go online for your free info kit to see how in just 30 minutes you can burn up to three and a half times the calories of a treadmill without the stress that running puts on your body. My daughters had come to me and said, I really want you to get healthy and I wanted to be better for them. In just 10 months, 110 pounds. The trip plan for getting my life back. So call, text, or go online to buytc.com for your free info kit. That's buytc.com. Experience new Febreze sleep serenity and let the soothing scent of moonlit lavender lull you to sleep. New Febreze Sleep Serenity in Moonlit Lavender, Warm Milk and Honey, and Quiet Jasmine. An official product of the National Sleep Foundation. Breathe happy, sleep happy. Oh, Pop Charles. Where are your manners? Doesn't anyone want to come over here and give Richard a little kiss? Oh, yeah, I got something for you to kiss right here. Richard, kiss that. Your mom's crazy. He's, he's crazy. Yeah, yeah, well, so am I crazy. Crazy things rage at you. But that's it. Now, you and your tragic accessories will not be ruining my parents' wedding. Max. No, he's not ruining their wedding. Can I just calm down. Okay, please, for me. Why in the world would I want to ruin their wedding? Revenge. 
You want to ruin Matt and Felicia's wedding to get back at me because I ruined your whole little nurse's ball plan with that ridiculous, tawdry, gossip-mongering 80s number you were trying to pull off. Oh, yes, the 80s number. Hmm. Wait, wait, I'm getting something from my crystal ball. Heather Weber, light as a feather. 70s insanity. 70s is still very much in progress. <laughs> wait. From my tarot cards. Oh no. Monica. Quatermain. I have a little name for Monica. The Tramp Champ. What's a champ? So I politely wash the hands. Or I'll not so politely remove you loudly. Look at you two. Masked men. Do you know what you really are? You both are sour pussies. I have a little something. He's got Talk a gun. To He's got a gun. Yep. How's she doing? The last I talked to her, she, had, she was going to eat, so. She was going to eat? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So happy you brought her food. <laughs> Of course, I brought her food. How many times has Larry brought us food for crying out loud? Jesus. I'm glad she asked. Or you asked. Somebody did. We owed him that. I didn't really think of that. our daughter. I'm going to choke it up so that we're going to get some sleep, you think? What should Because this is not a profession. Has Brittany made it home yet? I don't know. I love some. Been through so much, he stood by me no matter what I did to him, or who I was when I did it. Yes, he did. And I don't want to throw all of that away, and I'm afraid that's exactly what I've done. You're referring to the newspaper story you read. 